Tour de Fleece is an event where spinners across the globe spin yarn in concurrence with the Tour de France. I hope you'll join me in my adventure with the Tour de Fleece as I try to spin through as much of my fiber stash as possible. Hello! It is, I don't even know what day of the Tour de Fleece. Today is the 16th. So it's day 16 of the Tour de Fleece, and I believe it is day 14 of the Tour de France. It could be 13. I think it's 13, actually. The days have begun to run together. I'm sorry I have not kept you up to date on what is going on, but I honestly have not had a chance to do much spinning. The main yarn cruise is on right now, so Julie and I are spending many days <laughs> um, traveling all over the state of Maine. We are trying to do the cruise in just five days. That's 22 shops. It's a ridiculous amount of driving, but we are having it the time of our lives. We are really having a lot of fun. Um, but I thought I would catch you up on where things are at with my spinning and the race. Um, if you've already watched the race, you probably know this. Um, I watched only the summaries of stage 8, 9, 10, and 11. Um, I missed 12 and I missed 13 today because we leave at the crack of dawn. And in France, the time difference, the race is over before we get home. So... Um, the last time I checked the summary and the standings, um, after stage 11, Vingegaard won um, and, and actually took the yellow from Pogaccia um, by 59 seconds. Uh, he took the yellow by 59 seconds. He took it from Pogaccia by almost three minutes. It was like two minutes and 51 seconds, I think. So he now is the, or he was after stage 11, the tour leader. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of really interesting and fun, um, highlights in the highlight reel. Um, Magnus Court took a stage, um, stage 10 by a photo finish. It was so incredibly close. Um, and then, um, I think I'm saying this right. Gosh, Goshki? I think it's Goshki. Um, took the polka dot jersey from Magnus Court in the mountain climbing jersey. So there's been all kinds of jerseys and places and things changing hands. And I am so, so bummed that I missed a lot of it. Um, but we are going to finish up the main yarn cruise tomorrow. Um, it will be our last all day um, cruise. And then we have one shop that we just couldn't fit any, anywhere that we're going to do next weekend. So Starting next week, I'll be back to work and I'll be listening to the um, Tour de France um, in between work and breaks and things like that. And I'll be spinning in the evening when I get home. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more time devoted. But I have got a few things done. Let me show you. So I did get the um, the really pretty pastel -y purple one done. Um, so this is one that is going to be done, uh, used to make an entrelock clutch. And my goal was to get a kind of a, um, a puffy 
worsted weight out of the yarn. Um, and I think it's, it's looking like that's what it's going to be. Um, it kind of looks like that is going to be a worse way. I, I never know until after I wash them um, and black them and do all the things, which I meant to do yesterday and I didn't. So I'm going to wash them tonight, hang them in the laundry room, and then put them out of doors where it's nice and hot. It's like 80 plus degrees here in Maine. So hopefully I will get a better idea of how much the yardage is and what the um, the gauge of the yarn is. This is the other yarn that's going to be used for the Entrelac clutch. So that is a beautiful merino silk blend as well. Um, so it's going to go with this to make the Entrelac clutch. With any luck, these will be about a worsted weight and will do, I've never done Entrelac before, so I'm kind of excited to try it. It'll be a new technique under my belt. Um, so, so those were, um, two plies and then I had just a wee bit left off of each of them. I, I spun them on, on, I split the fiber in half, spun them onto two bobbins and then plied them together. And I did end up with just a wee little bit on each of the skeins. So I did a little chain ply just to use that up and I, I'm not sure what this will be. Well, maybe I'll make a keychain out of it. I don't know. Whoops. I'm throwing it across the room. So there we go. Um, then the other spin that I did finish, excuse me, the other spin that I finished was the cherry blossom, um, the, the um, merino with the naps. And I'm in the process of spinning right now the, um, the merino blend with, if it's like merino and silk and sari silk and stellina, and that's going to be plied with this. So I'll have a skein of just the cherry blossom, and then I'll have a skein of the cherry blossom plied with the um, tea and crumpets, I think it's called. And then I'm gonna have a skein of just the tea and crumpets. With any luck, I'll be able to finish that Sunday and um, I'll have all of the yarn that I need to make the Odyssey Shawl by Hohi Locatelli. So that's exciting. So that is what I've accomplished so far. I still have the same plan. I'm going to plan, I'm going to, to um, spin the undyed Cheviot and then the um, rainbow dyed Cheviot um, and the undyed Cheviot, I'm going to dye a rainbow in the yarn to kind of see what the difference between spinning the rainbow colors and actually just dyeing the yarn is going to make. And then I have another larger amount of Cheviot I'm going to spin to dye the rainbow colors, then tie it tightly and over dye it with black. So look forward to that in the next couple of videos. Next week is going to be a much more free week and I'll be able to do much more spinning with any luck knock on wood. <laughs> so I'll be able to um, share more with you. Um, so I'm sorry that it's kind of been, I've been a little absent this the, for the Tour de Fleece this last week, but um, yeah, it's been kind of crazy and you should see all of the things because <laughs> I don't need any more yarn, but I got some. So <laughs> Julie and I will be sharing our shenanigans for the main yarn cruise. Um, after we, uh, it'll be like towards the end of July, the last week of July that we'll be sharing that video. So I hope you will take a look at that. The Yarn Cruise is probably our very first real fiber event um, that we did together. So it should be pretty exciting. So I hope you will enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy this video and I look forward to the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>